Welcome back, everyone. If you think getting more nutrition means giving up flavor or creativity, think again. Registered dietitian Tina Ruggiero is here to share with us some surprisingly delicious ways to get your plate in shape and give your body the nutrition it needs to feel great and look even better. Good to have you back, Tina. It's great to be here. And you know what? March is the perfect time to think about getting our plate in shape because it's National Nutrition Month. Marvelous. Well, that's why you're here, because you know all about nutrition, and you've prepared a lovely breakfast for us. This is this is certainly not your, your typical bacon and eggs. No. What I have here are my grandmother's 100-year-old recipe uh, for, for Arborio rice muffins. They're sweetened only with honey, no sugar. Mm. And then I serve them with, I can't believe it's not butter. Because you have to put butter on your muffin. But I, you know I something? Do. This tastes delicious, but has 70% less saturated fat than butter. No hydrogenated oil, so no trans fats. And I added a little amaretto to that. So oh. there's a little amaretto and honey in the butter, which gives you a grain that's absolutely packed with flavor mm -hmm. and nutrition. And then you have, you know, a little clementine, a little piece of cheese, and kefir or a smoothie or some low fat milk. This is a great breakfast. So I encourage you to take a look at your plate and see if it's in shape. Do you have a little bit from every food group? And are you getting a kick of, of fruit? and and protein in the morning. What did your breakfast plate look like this morning? Uh, not very much. I had an egg this morning that was over easy and two pieces of wasp bread. Now you can add a little, I can't believe it's not butter. I can, yes. <laughs> for some more flavor. Little. And satiety too, because fat is good for us, especially if we're trying to lose weight. It keeps us full longer. It's true. You have to have your breakfast and you won't eat as much all day long. Yes. Tell, us, tell me about this. Lunch. I'm so bored with salads, it's unbelievable. So I like to make mine a little surprising, a little a little fun. This is orzo pasta, which is rice-shaped pasta mm -hmm. with, oop, with spinach and feta cheese and toasted pine nuts, a little olive oil, and of course the surprising ingredient are raisins. Uh -huh. These are no sugar added California raisins. Yum. And really, it's what you want to add to your baking, to your cooking when you're choosing a dried fruit. Because unbeknownst to most people, things like dried cranberries. Which I have put in many a salad have added sugar. Oh no. If you look at the package, you'll see raisins. This is actually a quarter of a cup. Mm -hmm. That's the equivalent of one fruit. This is a third of a cup. It has as much sugar as eight ounces of soda, regular I will soda. Stop doing that immediately. Yes. No more of you dry <laughs> cranberries. <laughs> now these look delicious. Get your snacks in shape. Snacks are a great opportunity to add nutrition to your diet. I made this white bean dip, which is so simple. Cannellini beans, olive oil, a little bit of chopped rosemary, salt and pepper, and I serve it with these delicious new sun chips. It's a new line and it's a six grain blend that includes quinoa and, and bulgur and it's absolutely absolutely crunchy, yummy. You get 21 grams of whole grains, which is basically half of the whole grains you need in a day. That's guilt-free snacking. You got it. And finally? And finally, for dinner, it doesn't have to be a huge production. This is a sardine salad, mm -hmm. high in omega-3s, with onions, watercress, oranges, little wine or sparkling water bread. You've got a plate that's in shape. Tina, would you eat that whole I could eat that whole. I could as Absolutely. well. You know, with some got, wine and some cheese, we've got a little, no doubt I can't about believe it. It's not butter. <laughs> but you know, some simple things you can add to your meals to make them nutritious, more flavorful. It's easy. Wonderful. I have been holding off on I this. know you have. Tina Ruggiero, thank you very, very much. You can get more information by visiting gourmetnutritionist.com. Don't go anywhere. Daytime will be right back.